Creating a survival underground oven, also known as a Dakota firehole, can be a useful method for cooking food and providing warmth in a survival situation. Here's a general guide on how to make one. Choose a location, find a suitable spot for your underground oven. Look for an area away from flammable materials and make sure it's well ventilated to allow for proper airflow. Dig a hole, use a shovel or suitable tools to dig a hole in the ground. The size of the hole will depend on the size of the food you plan to cook and the amount of heat you need. A typical size is about 1 to 2 feet, 30 to 60 centimeters, in diameter and 1 to 2 feet, 30 to 60 centimeters, deep. Create a side tunnel, once the hole is dug, dig a smaller side tunnel starting at the bottom of the main hole. The tunnel should be approximately 1 to 2 feet, 30 to 60 centimeters, in length and connect to the side of the main hole. Dig a draft hole, a few inches away from the main hole, dig another smaller hole approximately 6 to 8 inches, 15 to 20 centimeters, in diameter. This hole will act as a draft hole to allow air to flow into the main hole and feed the fire. Construct a fire pit. Inside the main hole, create a small fire pit at the bottom using rocks or stones. This will provide a stable base for your fire. Start the fire. Build a fire inside the fire pit using small twigs, dry leaves, or other flammable materials. Gradually add larger pieces of wood to establish a steady flame. Feed the fire. As the fire burns, carefully insert larger pieces of firewood into the main hole to maintain the flame. Remember to leave enough space for airflow. Use the side tunnel for cooking. Once the fire is established, you can use the side tunnel as a cooking chamber. Place your food, such as wrapped meat or vegetables, into the tunnel. Ensure that the food is secured and won't fall into the fire. Cover the main hole. To trap the heat inside the oven, cover the main hole with a non-flammable material like a metal sheet, rocks, or clay. Leave a small opening or vent for smoke to escape and maintain proper airflow. Monitor the cooking process. Keep an eye on the fire and the progress of your food. Adjust the size of the fire and the vent opening as needed to control the cooking temperature. Check for doneness. Depending on the type and size of the food, it may take some time to cook. Periodically check the food for doneness to prevent overcooking or burning. Extinguish the fire. Once you're finished cooking, carefully extinguish the fire using water or by smothering it with soil. Make sure the fire is completely out and the area is safe. Remember, underground ovens can pose risks, such as fire hazards and inadequate ventilation. Prioritize safety by choosing a suitable location, monitoring the fire closely, and ensuring proper ventilation to avoid smoke inhalation. Always exercise caution when handling fire and follow safety guidelines to prevent accidents.